Hi everybody, this is your service gamer seventy six. Um, back to tell you, uh, hey, like give you some good news and a kind of a ray of sunshine in this these dark and gloomy times right now. I know there's a lot we are kind of bummed out, but I guess that's good for you because you get more content out of me. So hey, look, just took a pandemic for this to happen, right? Aside from this pandemic and also all this, you know, abuse with police brutality and with minorities and all uh, with, with um, black lives matter and minorities you know that all that's really controversial i don't really like talking about that stuff my my show isn't about you know those topical things you know it's not a news show so it's interesting that i'm kind of going over gaming news but you, this gaming news, it has to do with my gamer tag, so I kind of have to say something about it, you know, because, you know, I'm kind of, associ I'm not associated with them, or nor do they represent Sega, but um, if you know anything about Sega, you know that my name tag is, um, they used to be called Service Games, so the only thing I did is just call myself, just, instead of games, I just removed the S and very unoriginally actually just called me gamer and I just added my number um, my favorite number on there so what's the some some of the some good news is that on a good note this retro gaming company Sega is that I'm celebrating 60 years and they've been around quite a while they have they just posted up this website up and it's called and they say go Sega Going along with this story, let's go, let's ch change it up here. I'm going to go to a YouTube channel. I don't know the name of this guy. I'm sorry I don't know your name, sir. Um, but he's a, he's one of the announcers at Spawn Wave Media. It's a larger website than mine. Um, but uh, this is, I'm just kind of pointing out where I got the information. You can go to, and they have a pendex of timestamps, and uh, you can just go to 512. And they can tell you what's going on about the Sega announcement next week. That's where I got my information. So I'm just pointing you out to my source. And also, this source I'm using from them is uh, one. I think it's the Gimsatsu Com to 20, 2005 Japan. And uh, it, it talks about another announcement on, in print. So I'm just going to read over that article. So um, let's see. Let's see, there's a game, Japanese tech journal. So here at Gimsatu, okay, so so there's this hype going on that there's something big coming out um, next week uh, or, or, or June June 4th, okay, during Sony's announcement. So it talks about that, about Sony's uh, June announcement and uh, what's going on with that. So let me start reading this article. So, Japanese tech journalist uh, teases huge scoop on the level of Wired's PS5 article for June 4th. Do issue, uh, do issue of Weekly Famitsu. Okay, so it's saying a revolutionary scoop. To me, man, this is like hype train kind of stuff, man. Like, like. This scoop will rile up the gaming industry. Now this is, man, this is like some major hype train stuff. Like, talk because you know you're talking about revolutionary. You, if you use the word revolutionary, that's already making me think. Okay, this is gonna be the the further advancement of technology. You know, so okay, so already I got that in my head. So let's continue reading because I already got I'm already getting my own ideas, which I shouldn't jump to conclusions, but here we go. During the latest YouTube live stream, Japanese technology journalist Zenji Nishikawa teased that he has a huge scoop uh, of the level of wired initial PlayStation 5 article June 4 due uh, June 4th issue of weekly uh, Famitsu. And he has a column called Complicated. He has a column magazine called Complicated. Conversation about games. His scoop is uh, is said to be revolutionary. And will up the okay, I already see where he said that. What is this right here? His live, his latest. Let's let's see what that opens. Hopefully, I can I can see this thing and I can look at it. 
Yeah, I did not know what, uh, I can't read any of that. But hey, I showed you it, right guys? So that's the site, so it's a working link, cool. And that's over four minute, four hours and 20 minutes long, so yep. So we're not going in there. Okay, so because, probably because I gotta ask for permission. Okay, so, yeah, so it starts at two hours and seven minutes and 41 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna go listen to that because I can't show another person's YouTube material or else I'll probably get hit with a copyright strike and I don't want to um, get in trouble with the YouTube police here. So guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back in a moment and then uh, we'll, you'll get my impressions, okay? Okay, I'm back. I saw the, vi saw the video footage, but I couldn't um, understand what he was saying. I don't understand Japanese. I thought there was going to be like um, some captions, guys. And so there's no captions. Obviously, it's just straight. Um, it just goes into Nishikawa's comments. Mr. Nishikawa's comments, okay? So I'm going to read at least what he what was translated in the, in the quote. Okay, so my column next week's issue of Famitsu's is crazy. A huge scoop. It's a world premiere article and an exclusive. It may be a Nikkei or Weekly Bunshun, but if you want to know it's a scoop that big, it totally is, okay? So he's really hyping it up. So that's why I'm already kind of like, I'm on the fence, you know? It's a scoop from game company that everybody loves. An insane scoop. Last year, Wired got the exclusive story on PlayStation 5, right? Other media didn't. It's that level of scoop. So, um, yeah, when people got the first look of that PlayStation 5 controller, yeah, everybody was like, whoa, yeah. So, yeah, then and we still haven't even seen what the console looks like. Peep, so I'm seeing all these different images on, I don't even know if any of them are real. And, so, I mean, I guess they're finally going to reveal that in the, in the in June 4th. Let's see. So, other media didn't. Oh, scoop. I interviewed a certain company's executive and technical staff. Really revolutionary. Really, it's revolutionary. Uh, okay. So, you know, um, I don't know what to say about this. It's kind of like you, they're, they're really egging it on. And when you say it's revolutionary, like I said, my brain starts thinking like, hey... That means it's it's tech related. That means it's ad something advanced, something of, on the next level. Kind of like what PlayStation 5 was now touting with the solid state drive and all that stuff. So let's keep reading. It'll be Famitsu's next Thursday. I already sent my, my manuscript, so proofs are being made now. It's a scoop on the level then when the when the story comes out other media will make a fuss to, to the company like why didn't you let us discover it maybe people will say who was the first to break the story and they're gonna say it was zenji nishikawa right it's a scoop as major as playstation 5 scoop i just wanted to say that in advance see right now this guy is really trying to um mr nishikawa man boy you you wanna, you wanna be the, the, you want that spotlight on you, man. <laughs> you're really, you're really pushing for that spotlight. You just, all right. I can't say anything more. Of course not. Of course not. But it's he, it's okay for me to tease it. Ha ha ha! As he laughs. I was told that it's okay to do so at various meetings. It's being talked about in other places, just not by the media. It'll rile up game industries again so okay so that's what his comment said it says after this nishikawa reportedly confirmed this the scoop is sega related okay so so now he mentions the mentions um good old sega and after accident ex accidentally letting the name slip when mentioning the company's public relations however it's it did not seem problematic after his slip up was pointed out in the comments nishikawa said did i say sega then it's sega he's also said it's not dreamcast 2. 
What the heck? So for all you people who are on the consoles for and you guys were expecting Dreamcast 2, the closest thing you got to Dreamcast 2 was Xbox and you can follow, you can continue following up the follow-up games from Dreamcast on the Xbox um, console and uh, you know like uh, Crazy Taxi and uh, like Jet Set Radio and you know all these other games that started in Dreamcast, you can follow them up on Xbox, so everybody knows that. So, since while we cannot be certain of the Nishikawa simply is teasing when confirming the company to be Sega, June 3 does mark the anniversary. So that's why I went to this, go Sega, and it's the anniversary, the 60th anniversary. So June 3rd is coming up, guys. And uh, it does mark the 60th anniversary of the Japanese giant, meaning that there could be some news around that date. The, the company began its 60th anniversary promotional campaign back in March. Okay, so they've been actually, Sega's been actually promoting um, uh, Go 60, uh, 660th Go Sega um, since uh, March. So um, let's go back. So here's our Sega article. Now see, this is this is the interesting thing because I went to here to go say like where this this thing that they mentioned like here is this this guy right here he is the CEO uh, uh, president and representative director mr. Haruki Satomi so he says this is a year this year is 60 years Sega has passed since Nihon okay uh, Nihon Garaku Busan Company, uh, the predecessors of Sega, was established June 3rd, 1960. We are indebted to everyone who supported Sega's group for many years. We like to express our deep gratitude to all of you. We want to astonish the world with breathtaking experiences that no one in the world has ever imagined. Really? So, so right here in the statement. From um, Mr. Satomi, why, why, okay, so, I mean, like, to me, this is where I'm confused because, well, you, I guess you're doing that with your arcades and also some of the games you're publishing on all the platforms right now, but, uh, but this is like, this is cold. Uh, deep gratitude all, want to astonish the world, breathtaking experience, no one has a world imagined. so how are you gonna... So if you're out of the console business, how are you going to do that, you know? How are you going to, with your games, you know, well, yeah, your, some of your games are breathtaking, but if you want to, but to astonish the world, they people need something tangible. So we want to be a company that continues to provide inspirational experiences, okay? And, it, and, and experiences to everyone in the new world of the future. That is why we must overcome all obstacles to, and keep taking on new challenges. The key message of 60th anniversary is go Sega. Express such aspirations. The Sega, of course, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm a fan, so I have no problem with go Sega. Uh, the Sega group is planning a variety of special contents. So here, just uh, when I read this, it kind of sends me a mixed message. But right here, what really makes it suspect, right here, guys, we want they want to astonish the world with breathtaking experiences that no one in the world has ever Im imagined. And they want to be a company that continues to provide inspirational experiences to everyone in the new world of the future. So, are you? So, um, wow, uh, Mr. Satomi, are you gonna do that with uh, just with arcade games and the and the the publishing titles you produce, the titles you publish? Um, okay, uh, because all this. Like what I was reading earlier, it's it's kind of leading up to something else, man. And you guys said back in 1998, you ain't going to do it. You ain't going to do it. You guys are done. You're done, son. You said, we're done. We're out. You guys said that, right? It's okay because, you know, it, but it was a long time ago. 
That was a long time ago. And you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe you guys had to take time to regroup and refocus. And that's good. You know, maybe. So here I found this other article. So this is another article that says Sega announcement teases that will rile up the video game industry. Uh, so right here, I I'm not going to read this all over, but it's by um, Dion the Sun Yankee. And they published it uh, on the 27th, which is, it's two days old. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm late to the party as usual, guys. What the Jigimatsu said. But I think uh, this part is new. This last part is new. It says, it's unclear that exactly the major Sega announcement will be, be but there has been plenty of speculation from, from, from fans. Yes, I know. All of us are yelling, you know, it's got to be a console. It's got to be a console. But uh man you know guys i've i really i really want it to be a console but but like if 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 it is a console i will you know i will eat my own words you know <laughs> i will eat my own words i mean i'll be happy to eat my own words i'll, I'll get a sandwich I'll, I'll write it in mustard my words um uh, that the con you know Hey, you know, Sega, Sega is no longer making consoles. That that's what I'm. Like. We'll, we're out of the console. We're, we'll never make consoles again. Sega will never make consoles again. That's what I want to write on my sandwich in mustard. Okay, and then I'll 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 eat those words. Okay, so and I'll do it on on, on air. So let's see. Then the thread is uh, gamers speculation news a long rumored acquisition of Sega by Microsoft. Okay, so this makes sense. There is someone. There's a thread that a, me a message board gamers speculate. Yeah, so that it that there is rumored acquisition. Okay, by Sega by Microsoft. Now, if you guys ever remembered your Sega Dreamcast. It, they did have a working relationship with Windows and Microsoft. So it's Windows, let me see. Yeah, so it's Windows CE. Windows CE. So it says Windows CE on the on the Dreamcast. So Xbox's boss, Phil Spencer, previously said his firm was looking to acquire a Japanese studio and getting Sega on board would be a huge coup. Uh, coup. Okay, so... Yeah, and they, they also had like Fantasy Star Online on the Xbox Game Pass, Fantasy Star Online 2, which is big, you know, this, and then also they have like the Streets of Rage 4, <laughs> which is great, you know, so, uh, okay, so the other announcement reset members speculate on, on was the Xbox Series X being distributed under the Sega banner in Japan, so... That would be interesting. Like, so Microsoft's Xbox in Japan, it's going to be called Sega? What? Well, I mean, I guess they would still be keeping, uh, they wouldn't be lying because they would never make consoles again. Um, for us in America, <laughs> like if they kept it in Japan, well... You know, okay. Having Sega branded on the next Xbox could be a great way to boost sales in Japan, especially considering Sega haven't released a home console in it since the Dreamcast. Alternatively, Famitsu scooped dropping on the same day as the rumored PS5 revealed the event is meant to be taking place Thursday, June 4th. So, June 4th, everybody, is uh, when that scoop's going to be um during the so make sure you tune into that um the playstation 5 announcement look for it on youtube or actually or try to go live because yeah you will probably want to uh, you don't want to be like me be two days too late this will remains to be seen be whatever announcement june 4th is definitely the date you'll want to mark down in your diaries oh well who has a diary really okay uh this is the other parts from ccn and it's written by, uh, well, Max Muller. One journalist is teasing some big news, Sega news for June 4th. June 3rd is the group's 60th anniversary. Could Sega be prepping to re-enter the console war? Uh, 
2020 is the next generation console, Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are slated to launch in the holiday season, but may be new hardware entering the battle coming. So, but there may be new hardware entering the battle coming from Sega of all companies. You know, look, it's a new, it's 2020, right? Um, is it impossible to believe that Sega has been working on a new console in the background? It's not impossible to believe because they already made, like I showed you, they were making the Mini and it did have some success. People still remi reminded people of the Sega name and also Sega was acquiring uh, publishers like VanillaWare and Atlas and all these specific companies that really... You need a strong uh, network of publishers that will work with you. That way you got some exclusives that gets people to buy your consoles, right? So, as far as this is concerned, Sega, of course, left the console war after its Dreamcast in 1998. Since then, the group has focused on Sonic, Total War, Yakuza, and its other franchises. Sega has been basically just a software publisher they've been making good games still you know and but they just haven't been doing hardware okay but let's get to the bottom of this part right here the competition the competition is too heavy so let's see what he has to say this this person wrote this article uh, who is uh does it say who wrote it max moeller so he's saying the competition is too heavy well i don't think so I don't think so. Competition is good. The more uh, competitors you have, the more uh, consumers have to choose from. And you know what? Not all the stores are going to carry all the competitors. So believe it or not, it's probably going to be just like they are already devoted their shelf space to certain brands already. So it's going to be kind of hard for them to say devote a, some space for Sega. On their shelf space like places like Walmart and and uh, Target um, these kinds of places you know major retail like video game retailers which I'm not gonna you know who it is I'm not gonna I, I have a beef with them so I'm not gonna even mention their name in this broadcast so but here we go so but but there's always room for competition man and I don't believe what this guy's saying but here we go the thing is, a new console would mean competing against hardware giants as Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. We're already waiting on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5 price points. Who wants to save for another console? I do. And just because, and just because they're announcing a new console, it doesn't mean I'm going to buy every console there is. I'm not going to buy a Nintendo. You know why? I never, I never, I never was attached to those kitty games they're like kitty games to me so they're more for young kids you know i never got attached to them my my affinity is for sega i had the sms you know so but i'm a sega fan this guy doesn't isn't isn't a sega fan so plus the world already is financial struggle due to the pandemic it's now really time to reveal to reveal an expensive new box you know what there's always you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, you, it could be a recession, and they they announce a new a new uh, a new car car um, car manufacturer like Tesla. Was it was it an, was it an easy time for Tesla? Did Tesla come at a at a great time? No. Yeah, it's never a perfect time. You just if you're ready to go, you're ready to get back on the horse. You'll get in there. And then there, and then and then he goes on to say Sega wouldn't be the only company looking to make a comeback either, on on all groups. Atari is working on the PC console hybrid dubbed the Atari VCS, and that's even more competition. We'll know for next, for sure next week. But Sega should be absolutely be wary. The world can only afford so many consoles. Well, that's the freaking point. And you know what? If Sega comes out with the same kind of aggressive campaign they had at the 90s, the kind of get in your face, no nonsense, and they have the tech to back it up. If they have something good in their hands, they could do it. 
people will buy it. But right now, it doesn't look good because you have you have all these people on Sony. They're loving Sony. And then you have people on the Xbox brand, but that's kind of now waning towards Sony because of the tech demo, their their PS5 tech demo, and and Xbox really did kind of messed up their their next generation console reveal, and they didn't show the the mix up with gameplay and an actual cinematic play, you know. So yeah, guys. So I'm back to here. So that's pretty much it on this. If they're touting something revolutionary, I don't know. They also make mention something about um, in another article, another drop, some some other tidbit somewhere. I, I don't know where, but someone mentioned in one of the articles that um, about Segato Segato Sanshiro. Or something, and that's directly attached to um, a Sega Saturn. So, and it's also pretty close to let's see, 95 when the Saturn came out. So, if there's an anniversary, there's a 25 year anniversary of the Saturn, I believe. Let's see, 95, yeah, 20, yeah. So it'd be like the 25th anniversary of the Sega Saturn. So there's one one console that could um, kind of be they could be touting. But it wouldn't be revolutionary if they touted this would be the Sega Saturn uh, Mini. So do you think it's the Sega Saturn Mini? Is it is it another Dreamcast Mini? Now the Sega it would be smart for Sega to do the Sega Saturn Mini because they have a lot of ex they have a very you, you know buying those games individually the games are very expensive they're like a lot of over hundred dollar games on the Sega Saturn. They just barely uh, are able to just crack and start ripping the games on the Saturn disc now. So if Sega is going to try to capitalize on their old IP franchises of the Saturn era, of uh, the Sega Saturn era, so I mean like games like Guardian Heroes, you know, which was really awesome. Um, there's a lot of great games on the Saturn that... You know, hey, any of you just fill in the blank on the comments below. Um, but Dreamcast also, like, I guess Dreamcast Mini or something, but I don't know, guys. I don't really, I really have been let down a lot on the consoles and the idea of Sega coming out with a console in the past. So if uh, Sega does, uh, does come out with a console, I'll be eating a sandwich. All right. But uh, if uh, if it's not if it, if it's just a game, <laughs> you know it, what what kind of game would it be that's so revolutionary? You know what what's this revolutionary game? You know, yeah. So it can't be a game. Usually when people say revolutionary, it associates with technology, and we don't even haven't even seen a controller. So if they show us a controller, then maybe that might be legit of what. They have in store for us I don't know so okay guys so I've been talking about this long enough and hey, I'm gonna close this up anyways this is your service gamer 76 um, and happy anniversary Sega I hope you prove me wrong please prove me wrong I really I will be on earth I will buy your console I will buy your console if you know if you if you uh, if you announce it just because I want to go and say see I told you I told you that be back you know you know I, I I was sad when you guys left on the on 98 with the Dreamcast I was I was I was sad because um, I knew that the the gaming industry wouldn't be the same without you guys in the consoles and one thing you guys always did was you guys always pushed your technology to the next level. That's why a lot of your, your one of your phrases was "Welcome to the next level." That's Sega's adding marketing there. Welcome to the next level. Sega always meant the next level in technology. Just if you do come out with a console, make sure you support your console with a lot with a lot of 
software developers backing it. And don't just leave people hanging. You know, give them a good experience as long as you can. Like usually a life cycle of a console is supposed to be five years, but these days it tends to be three to three to two. And this world is a lot more different since the 90s, you know. Um, there's a lot of uh, competition and but gaming has gotten more popular than ever so for people to say there's not enough com there, there, there's too much competition ah uh, I like to disagree and if Sega decides to go in there they will uh, and decide to come out with a new console I hope it's something that uh, we've been waiting for and something that's really special uh, especially because it's their 60th anniversary, uh, I expect that it's gonna it's gonna have to be something that's gonna be the pride or joy of their company and uh, something that's you know uh, gonna gonna live up to their expectations. You know, um, something that's ceremonial and anniversary like like the 60th. I think it's gonna be kind of a big deal. So okay, guys. So that's my uh, I've been going on too long. Uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, this is your service gamer it's tuning out. I'll see you next time. Bye. Disclaimer. Sony has postponed the reveal details in Sony's Twitter feed. Link can be found in description below.